Mark Davis, man, he's balling. He's like, I'm all in, baby. If I'm going to Vegas, I'm going to act Vegasy, and I'm going all in. I'm going all in on a stadium, and I'm going all in on Gruden. If this fails, F it. I'll go be a waiter at freaking Chili's for the rest of my life, right? I already got the haircut for it. He don't give yeah, a crap, hey, man. man. Come on, show him some respect. You know what he yeah, likes. But yeah, but he don't care, man. He's going all in. And I freaking You're love that, man. dude. I, 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 I kind of love that, man. He gives zero Fs, as the kids say today, you know? So well, it's exciting. It's exciting. What, 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 what do you think? What do you think? This so here's what's crazy about Mark Davis and look at I Al Davis was the original NFL gangster man there's no doubt about that and if you don't think that his kids got a little bit of that in them then you're mistaken because he's definitely got a little bit of that in him and even so much he is completely not even he's punked all the critics anybody that said oh Mark Davis is broke and he's not capable and, nope. and how about this? remember this one he doesn't have the business acumen. Really? Where'd you find come that on, word? Man. Come it cost on, man. you a dime for that word? Yeah, come but anyways, on. But so it, my my point being though is that he had the critics of Mark Davis were lined up out the door. And he's proving every single one of those critics wrong. And he's doing it, frankly, by going against a lot of ways against his father's legacy. Number one, mm-hmm. Al Good never point. thought of head coaches as that valuable. Now in today's NFL, they're incredibly valuable. Yeah, we know, Al. We, we could tell every two years what you thought about head coaches. Exactly. Because he was the coach. Yeah. He was the one. I just need somebody to go out there and stand on the sidelines and do some stuff. You know, when it comes to now, Al Davis was the orchestrator of all this stuff. So he didn't need anybody else to do it because he wanted to do it and he wanted all the credit for it. Okay. Well, that's not Mark Davis. Mark Davis is not a football guy, and he's bringing in football guys to do football stuff. Mm-hmm. So not only is he bringing in John Gruden, who his dad traded away, but he's paying them he, the man a hundred million dollars allegedly. It, it, cr- well, allegedly, right? But it's crazy money. Al Davis would never pay a head coach that kind of money. So the fact that he's number one doing that, and then number two, he's bringing back old coaches it's again something al davis would never do now granted when tom flores left and madden left they they reassimilated back into the raider organization and truly they were raiders at heart and the bulk of their successes as as coaches were well flores went on madden retired from coaching but you know what i'm saying that the the bulk of their success came as raiders and so they assimilated back into the organization in that way but not in a way of like when you flat out fire a guy and then turn around and bring him back. Number one, he would have never done that. Number two, you just don't see coaches go back to the teams that they were head coaches at before and take lower positions, especially as position coaches. They got Tom Cable back. The guy's an offensive line coach. That's crazy. He's also an amateur boxer, Murph. (laughs) <laughs> dude that's only two steps higher ranking in the raider organization than you and me yeah 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 right <laughs> you know what i'm saying like the, and the guy was the head coach of the team at one time it's just bananas to me so the, the what what al davis or excuse, al davis freudian slip what mark davis is doing with the football team i think should be praised make fun of him all you want he don't care because he's getting it done he's getting it done how he wants it to get done and he's proven the haters wrong, man. You may not like his plan. And it, look, it's all right over here over my left shoulder, yep, staying open. Yep, yep. I don't want him to leave. Neither do you. None of us want him to. But I can't control what the, where the Raiders live. That's up to him. And he's going to do with them what he wants because he owns the freaking thing. So I'm, all I can do is continue to be a fan and, 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 just, and just root for him and support him. So, look, the guy's getting it done, and you can't argue that. You may it's- not like it getting it done it's kind of like his dad was like a a gangster and mark's a gangster but mark's like for the rival gangster right like mark's like doing it he's he's doing gangster things just in a different capacity right like if dave Davis was a if if al was a blood mark's the crip right if if al was a a nortenio davis is a serenio right it's like Day- yeah, or a Corleone and Jimmy Zaza. Yeah, Remember that like like Marky Marky is just as gangster as his dad. Uh-huh. He's just going about it differently, man. And, and you can't knock him for that. Like, yeah, he's a yeah. freaking Davis, dude. He'll fire your ass in a freaking hallway and then go out and get Gruden the next week. 
and then smile like he had a freaking chub the whole time during the press conference, right? Like, freaking, I love that dude. Like, like Mark Davis, you don't care. Like, like you don't, you don't have, you know, I'm not underneath that table, man. I'm not knocking the guy, but like, you know, that guy don't care. You know, he he doesn't care what we say, what you say, what the critics say, what the fan. He don't care. He just wants results. You know what, man? And I've always said this about Mark Davis. Al Davis, Al Davis, this was his baby. The Raiders were Al Davis's baby from a business standpoint as well as his life, right? But you know what I did just, just earlier today, Murph? I put up a speed bag in my garage. You know why? Because I remember being a young kid watching my dad have a speed bag in, in my garage. And I learned how to hit the speed bag because of my dad because I watched my dad do it and I wanted to be like my dad. And today when I was hitting the speed bag, I was showing my four-year-old how to hit the speed bag, right? So, so because of my dad, I was a, a fan and I, I did the speed bag thing, right? Well, you know what, man? Mark Davis is the biggest fan of the Raiders that there is. There is no bigger fan than Raiders because Mark got to watch his dad pour out his life for this team, man. Yeah. And everything yeah. Mark is doing, while it's contrary to the way Al would have done it, he's still doing it for his dad. And that, to me, is is awesome, man. It gives me kind of the chills to see a father-son legacy like that moving forward. And I hope it works out for Mark Davis because if it doesn't, and the amount of money he's borrowing, that dude's going to end up with some broken legs in the bottom of a river, dude. <laughs>